Chinos are my favorite type of pants. They're incredibly versatile. They're like the Swiss army knife of pants. Unlike jeans, chinos work for business casual outfits. And unlike dress pants, they also work for casual outfits. You can wear chinos with dress shirts or oxfords or casual button-ups. You can also wear them with t-shirts and sneakers and even sandals. If I could only choose one pair of pants to wear for the rest of my life, it would be a pair of chinos. But just like with any other pants style, chinos aren't gonna look good if they don't fit properly. So in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how a pair of chinos should fit. Of course, fit or silhouette is subject to trend. Sometimes skinny fit is in, sometimes wider fits are all the rage. I'm gonna try to give you advice that will stand the test of time. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a timeless chino fit, or at least as timeless as it gets. And if you follow this advice, if your chinos fit like I like mine to fit, they're gonna look just as good in 10 years as they do today. Before before we get into it, big thank you to Lestrange London for sponsoring this video. I've been wearing the 24 trouser from Lestrange London for a couple of years now, and if you watch my other videos, chances are you may have seen me wearing these. It's kind of like a classic chino pant, but with some modern updates and amenities. For example, these have a partially elasticated waistband, a hook and button closure, and a drawstring, so it makes them incredibly comfortable to wear. Their tailored but not skinny fit is about as timeless as it gets. If you want more room, you can go for a pair of their relaxed fit 24 trousers. All of these are cut with a longer inseam, and they're meant to be cuffed to your desired length, depending on the look you're going for in a given day or what kind of footwear you're wearing. The material they're made from is very cuffable, and it works for any kind of cuff, including an outside cuff or an inside cuff. They're also very easy to hem or to get a permanent turn up if you like that look. I also love that you can buy the 24 trouser in a variety of fabrics. So they have a heavyweight cotton, a linen, wool flannel, or their original six ounce stretch cotton. So there's a comfortable option for every climate. I actually really like the way the heavyweight uh, trouser drapes, but I think the six ounce original fabric is probably good for most people. What I really love about this pair of pants though is the quality. A certified B Corp, Lestrange London's motto is with less, do more. So this is the opposite of fast fashion. This brand is creating modular wardrobe staples that are easy to combine, interchangeable, and they're gonna last a long time. So this includes t-shirts and knits, and sweatshirts, blazers, and outerwear. I'll be using the 24 trouser from Lestrange as one example of proper chino fit in this video. So if you like the way these pants look and you wanna be a more thoughtful fashion consumer, I definitely recommend checking out Lestrange London. You can Google Lestrange London or you can click the link down below in the description. Okay, let's talk about how your chinos should fit. Just like with anything else, jeans, t-shirts, suits, we're going for a kind of middle of the road, slim but not tight fit. You don't want your pants to be squeezing your legs in, but you do want them to follow the general shape of your body. So for most of us guys, this means a gentle taper from the hips down to the ankle. Starting at the top, the waistband of your chinos should be tight enough that you don't have to wear a belt to keep your pants up. If you're not wearing a belt and you find yourself constantly pulling your pants back up to where you want them to sit, the waist is probably too loose. Now, a loose waist can almost always be fixed at the tailor, and of course, some chinos come with drawstrings, like these ones from the Strange London. On the other hand, the waist shouldn't be so tight that it's uncomfortable. So when in doubt, it's better for the waist to be a little bit too loose and use a belt or a drawstring to tighten it, uh, versus a little bit too tight. Moving down to the hips. So for most guys, our hips are the widest parts of our lower body. This is because our butt is usually wider in diameter than our waist or our thighs. Now it's crucial that your chino pants aren't too tight around your hips. Don't assume this can be fixed at the tailor. Sometimes there's not enough fabric to let the hips out. If the hips are too tight, you're gonna feel uncomfortable, especially when you go to sit down or bend over. If the hips are too loose, not that big of a deal. Sure, if they're way too loose and you don't have a large bum, uh, you might get a little bit of that diaper butt effect. But honestly, that's preferable to your pants looking like they're too tight. For me, I don't often have this saggy diaper butt problem with pants. Uh, for me, usually if I get pants that fit in the waist, a lot of the times they're too tight in the hips. It's just the way I'm shaped. And the solution is usually to size up and then get the waist taken in. One telltale sign that the hips are too tight is if your side pockets kind of flare out. Also, if the fabric is pulling across your lap, creating these horizontal lines, the hips are probably too tight. I'm not saying your chinos have to be so loose that they totally hide the shape of your butt, 
people love butts. But there should be a little bit of excess fabric, maybe like an inch or two on either side. Okay, we also have to talk about the seat or the crotch. The way your pants fit in the seat is determined by their rise. Rise is the distance from the top of the front waistband to the top of the back waistband. When you see a rise measurement, it's usually just referring to the front rise. So that's the distance from the top of the front waistband to the crotch seam. Low rise pants have a shorter distance, say like eight inches. High rise pants have a longer distance, like 12 inches. And that's because low rise pants are meant to sit down on your hips and higher rise pants are meant to sit up near your belly button. It's a mistake to get low rise pants and try to wear them higher up. You can do it, you can use a belt to make them sit higher up near your belly button, but it's gonna be uncomfortable because there's not enough rise, there's not enough room in the crotch. It's uncomfortable and it looks kind of weird. This is why for most guys, it makes sense to buy standard or medium rise pants or even higher rise pants. They're more comfortable and they make your legs look longer because they raise your perceived waistline. So it's a win-win. Now, if you already own some chinos that are too low rise for you or that are too tight in the seat area, they might be able to be fixed at a tailor, but only if there's excess fabric. So you can check this yourself or you can bring them to a tailor, but don't be surprised if they can't be fixed. Okay, moving down the legs to the thighs, knees, and calves. Just like with the hips and the seat, if your chinos are too tight in the thighs, they're not gonna be comfortable. Even if it looks good on the model, trust me, they're not comfortable. This is especially true for pants that don't have a whole lot of stretch. So a lot of chinos have like 2% stretch these days. But if it's 100% cotton, you know, it really has to have more room. Basically, the tighter your pants are, the more stretch they should have. So if you can see the outline of your quads underneath your pants, they're probably too tight. On the other hand, if you can pinch one to two inches of excess fabric on the outside of your thigh, you're good to go. Now, unless you prefer a completely straight leg, your chino should be a little bit tighter around the knees than they are around your thighs because your knees are smaller than your thighs. You shouldn't see the outline of your kneecap unless you're sitting down, and you shouldn't feel any restriction when you bend down or do a squat. The same pinch test works here too. And of course, this gentle taper continues down through the calf. And again, about an inch of excess fabric is just right. Now, if you sit down and then you stand up and your chinos get stuck around your calf, that means they're probably too tight. Remember, it's always good to prioritize function over form or comfort over style. It's hard to be stylish if you don't feel comfortable because people can kind of sense that. And finally, let's talk about the leg opening. So this is the narrowest part of your chinos. How narrow should it be, you ask? It kind of depends on your build, you know, like how big are your ankles and how much taper do you want? I like a six and a half inch leg opening. It works well cuffed or uncuffed with pretty much any type of sneaker or boot, but I have very thin calves and ankles. So you might like a seven inch leg opening or even an eight inch leg opening. Either way, the leg opening shouldn't be wider than the calf or the knee, because then that means you're going to have kind of like a flared shape. And while that's in style, like once every 20 years or something, I don't think it's a very good look. It's also important to remember the relationship between leg opening and pants length. Wider leg openings or wider ankles tend to look better with longer pants that have more break. The shorter your chinos are or the less break, uh, the more taper you're gonna want. So if you want like slight break or no break at all, like the cropped look, you're gonna want a tapered pant. Speaking of which, let's talk about how long your chino should be. When we talk about pants break, we're talking about how much your pants stack up on top of your shoes. Full break means a lot of stacking and folding. On the other end of the spectrum is the cropped length, and this is when your pants just hover above your shoes, so they don't even touch your shoes. I think most guys look good with slight break or partial break. This means that your chinos touch your shoes, but they don't pile up on top of them. You know, I personally don't think it looks very good if your chinos are stacking up over top of your shoes. I also like the no breaks look, you know, sometimes I'll cuff my chinos for that perfect no break look and I think it's a great look, especially for more casual outfits. I think the no break cuffed look also looks really good when you're wearing boots. If you do want more break, kind of a more traditional relaxed look, just make sure that your chinos aren't too tapered. Finally, you might be wondering whether or not you should cuff your chinos. If you're wearing them casually, like with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or an untucked shirt, yeah, feel free to cuff them if you like that look, which I do. I like how the added weight kind of helps my chinos drape. So I'll cuff chinos with really any casual shoes from a casual loafer to a pair of sneakers or boots. 
The only time I don't recommend cuffing chinos is if you're wearing them in a business casual setting. So if you're wearing a pair of chinos with like a tucked in button down shirt, maybe even a jacket, uh, or without a jacket or tie, uh, but with like dressier shoes, like an Oxford or a Brogue or a dress boot, I wouldn't cuff them. Just get them hemmed that slight break length. And that's it. That is how your chinos should fit if you want them to look good today and 10 years from now. Thanks one more time to Lestrange London for sponsoring this video uh, and for making the 24 trousers. It's one of my favorite pairs of pants and I definitely recommend checking them out. If you have any questions for me about Chino's fit or really anything else, let me know down in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.